Hi, in this lesson, we are going to create a few storybook helpers that will make our development easier. So I'm going to create a new file inside my helpers folder that is going to be called storybook.js. And here I'm going to create three functions. So first, let's import React because there are going to be some JSX code involved. Then let's import the get classes from our previous utils. This is going to be from styles. And let's start with the first one. So remember that we have our templates in Storybook. We are going to create this special function that will help us to create a better template from our current case. This get template is going to receive as a first argument the component and as a second argument the styles, the CSS module styles. And then it's going to return a function that will receive the arguments as usual with the templates. And what we are going to do is a similar thing as we did with the high order component. We are going to define the all props that is basically split all the component default props and then spread the arguments. And we are going to return the component in this case with the arguments and we are going to pass the get styles function. And this get style functions is just an implementation of the get classes where we'll receive the styles. Then of course, all the props and we can close that. So this is our get template helper. Remember that when we want to create multiple templates, we call the template list. So we need another helper for that. I'm going to call it get list template and it's going to have the same signature, the component, the styles, and it's going to return a function that will receive an object. And this object is composed by the items, remember, as we did it before, and the arguments. This is going to be a little bit special, but we're going to iterate the map. And per each item, we are going to do a similar thing as we did it above. We are going to get all props. And all props is basically spread the component default props with the arguments and with the item. Then we just return the component. Needs the key because we are iterating this. And then we spread the arguments and we spread the item. Finally, we can also pass the get styles. And as you remember, it's just an implementation of the get classes with the styles and of course all props. Something is happening here. Let me see. There is a bad syntax and it's because this parentheses it shouldn't be here, but rather than here. And we need to close this component and that should do the trick. So we have our two helpers here, get template and get list template. Our last helper is going to be something called get options archetypes. So remember that we mentioned before that for the archetypes, we will make a helper function. This is the opportunity. So basically it's just a copy of what we did before. So we have the description, which is basically there were options involved. Remember this is markdown. Then we have the table that has the type. Inside the type, we have the summary. In this case, we are going to map the options. And for, for each option, we are going to write this description. So we want to take the option here and then join it with a pipe. Then as a third attribute, we have the control. And in this case, we say that the control is select and then options is going to be the options. And I have a typo here. Now it's time to use these helpers. Let's go to our car stories and let's start using those templates. So remember that we defined the template at the list template here. So we don't need that anymore. And what we are going to do is just a bulb. And in this case, a template is just going to be get template where I have the car and the styles. So in this case, what I can do is import the car styles. So I can just go styles from car.module.css. And then uh, of course I need the list template. For this one, I will use that get list template and it's same story car and styles. Finally, the art types that we already did it before are going to be pretty easy because then I don't need this whole thing or this whole thing 
But instead, what I'm going to do is use our get options, our types, and I will pass options that colors here. And for the sizes, it's just going to be options that sizes. Look that simple. We just delete half of the code basically there. Let's see if this is working or we have some typo, some kind of error. So as expected, I have an error. So remember, you just need to inspect the console here. You can see that it's saying the options map join with the G is not a function. Yes, that's a typo. So if we go here, we will find that here we have the G. So this shouldn't be like that. And that looks like it's working. And look, we still have the descriptions working here. And we can change this here. And now we have the stories working. We have the different colors and we have the sizes working as before. But what is pretty interesting about these changes is that now for every story, I can use my get template and get list template in order to use CSS modules there. And of course I can visualize the code as before and the same for get the archetypes. So in that case, we can have this nice do documentation where it describes what are like the options for these different props. And of course, use them in the select. So we can, of course, move it to large or move it to primary and play with it. And then the code remains the same. There is one last change that we need to do here in order to recover our default props. And what we need to do, remember that we talk about these two props that we didn't use anymore. So we need to move this from here. And in React, you have what is called the default props. So we can just right here, default props, and then we can define what is going to be the default value of these two props, because we are not using them anymore here. After move those props into the default props, there is something that we need to change because you didn't notice but in reality, before we change everything for the get template and the get list template, we were having exactly the same behavior here. And that's because we were importing directly the car. But in this case, we are going to return the car without the hog. And that's why we move everything that the hog does into the helper. So now with this, we can use the car without the hog, implement the styles using the helpers, and seeing reflected the default values here. And now again, we have everything as it should be. And if it's not clear, let's take a look back into the car. So before we were using the version with the hog, but because Storybook don't really understand how the hog implement the default props, we have to move that into the templates. But what we are doing instead is just taking the car without the hog and just create a similar implementation into this helper that will just put the default props and the styles. And then everything works perfect. In our last lesson, we are going to see how to implement global parameters in a storybook. See you in the next one.